cannot tell you how many times I have been sitting in a place surrounded by people and felt nothing but the insatiable urge to scream at the top of my lungs. There is not much rhyme or reason for this, but I guess the bottom line is that I spend most of my time trying not to explode and the rest of my time wondering if other people feel this way. Have I not written a million times about how we name ourselves abysses of feelings who look around and name others as rivers, flowing and meandering in perfect harmony? Meanwhile, we are all just the same mix of eroded, rod, eroded rock and muddy water. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs right now when I mean that that is what it is to write poetry. It is to be the loudest person on one particular page. It is to ask, why is it so hard to figure out where to put this body all the time? We are all screaming into the void, but I just happen to write mine down. I go around, and I see so many things left unfelt. The only way to get through something is to feel it first, and when we live in a societal collapse, it is, not surprisingly, not particularly peachy to live through. The first step to having a more beautiful world is mourning the greed that gave us this one. And when they ask me why I write poetry, I say it is the only way that my feelings can be outside of me. These pages are the only places that I can put these feelings down. But when there is a tragic car accident, and it is unfair, and the person closest to them dies, they do not ask me why I write poetry. They ask me where it is. They ask me, how does anyone live through this? I tell them I am still trying to figure this out every single day. The only difference is that I am not clued into the despair of the universe only when something happens to me. There is always something happening somewhere to someone that is taking their world off its axis, and I do not know how to explain that my world only knows tilt. People lose their homes or their children or their lives at the hands of the state every single day. Suffering is a policy choice, and anyone who knows that cannot pretend otherwise. We cannot afford to keep only caring about things when they happen to us, instead of just when they happen. We have to care all the time, and it hurts. I still do not know how to carry the weight, but here I am putting it down right here in these pages so that you might know I am feeling this with you. The truth is that none of us know what we're doing, and we all need someone to tell us some version of some truth that we need so that we can move on. I cannot mourn something until I can name it. I am trying to name everything, I guess, and the truth is that I do not want to be alone while I traverse this abyss and try to see a river. Poetry is a way of making me feel a little less alone in this brain of mine and in this world that this brain of mine thinks so much about. But wait, here you are now hearing my words. Here you are with me. We have to feel what is wrong in order to build what is right. You are feeling this with me. This is the magic of poetry. We are, we are feeling this together. It is all an illusion. And even if I cannot always be with you when you need someone to give you the right words, I hope that you can take solace in hearing these words and knowing that I thought of you when I wrote them. I think of you all the time, even when I am not writing. Your company, it means so much to me, and it is because of you that I am not alone. And please, let these words be an offering to you so that I can return the favor. Thank you for being here.